Hey guys, my name is Kunal and welcome to the video of building Lineage OS from Source. This will be a complete guide, so by the end of this video, you guys will be able to make Lineage OS for your own device. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do now is setting up the environment. Make sure to check out the minimum requirements which I have specified in the description box below. Okay, and once you're done with that, just uh, sudo apt get install openjdk will install the java development kit. Along with that, we need some packages, so just copy paste the snippet. I'll, I'll, I'll have this code in the description box below so you can copy paste directly these two lines. Uh, make sure to do a sudo apt get update before all those packages. Now the second step will be initializing the repo binaries. So we'll fetch the repository, add repo binaries to our path and give proper permissions. Again I'll have these codes in the description box below so you can directly copy paste these commands. Okay now this step will probably consume most of your data. In this step we'll be syncing the ROM source. So you can choose whichever ROM you want. Uh, for this example uh, I'll be choosing a lineage OS so just uh, google the lineage OS or resurrection it's a platform manifest. When you go to it you'll find it's a, a repo initialization command just copy paste it. It'll ask you for your name and email address just put it in there and finally do a repo sync. Okay, so now just to be on the safe side, make sure you have unlimited data because uh, this is like 40 gigs of source, so it will take time depending on your internet download speed. But once you have synced a uh, ROM source, you can just uh, use that one as a reference to sync another one so you can save data on that. Uh, I'll teach you guys about that in my next video or maybe the one after that, ah, we'll see. Okay, so now once you're done with this, uh, you're ready to build your ROM. Okay guys, so now the final step will be syncing, preparing and compiling your ROM. So uh, just change your directory, uh, copy paste this command, the source build nvsetup.sh. Uh, after you're done with that, just uh, type in breakfast and uh, along with your device code name. This will fetch all your device trees as well as the kernel source for your device. Uh, if you get an error saying that you need some vendor make files or something like that, then you need to extract some proprietary blobs from your device. For that, just connect your device with your PC using a USB cable. Uh, make sure you have uh, ADB enabled. Uh, once you have uh, connected your device to the computer, just type in dot slash extract files.sh or just copy paste the command directly from the description down below and this will extract all the proprietary blobs and put them in the right place. So it'll take care of the rest. Okay, now the next step will be turning on uh, cache so that uh, we can speed up our builds. So all you need to do is uh, copy paste these two commands uh, in your command window and that'll be it guys. Now finally. Let's compile a ROM. Now type in crude uh, followed by brunch and your device code name. Once you're done that, it'll start compiling the ROM. Now, now guys, listen. Th th this is going to take a while. So, uh, I don't know. Depending on the specs of your computer, it'll take time. Uh, once this is done, you'll find the output in the your username, your like the directory and out. There's a output folder which will have the zip file so you can directly copy paste it and then slash it. So I hope you guys learn a little bit from this video if not much but uh, I think after this you'll be able to compile any ROM for any device. Okay so now you might be asking hey Kunal what about my device it is not official by lineage OS. Well you can cry about it. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, don't worry about this guys, I'll be making another video which will be pushing your device official to any other ROMs. So in that one, I'll like cover up everything from starting from like making the make files as well as setting up dependencies. So don't worry about it. Uh, guys, make sure you subscribe, like and comment. If you have any doubts, just let me know, I'll get them clear. And guys, thank you so much for the love and support. I'll keep posting new content. Uh, I'm sorry I was not able to post a lot of content because of my exams in college. College. Okay, so with this guys, I'll take a leave and see you guys in the next one.